Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Akusia Benhini. If you're new, you're welcome. If you're a tiny subscriber, hey boo, what it do? <laughs> so in today's video, I am gonna be sharing with you how, I mean, I feel like top five, yes, but I'm gonna be sharing with you five ways to have a productive day as a millennial mom. Now, if you're a mom, if you have a newborn on hand, if you have a toddler, whatever that you have as long as you have some form of child situation and then you need a way to get a productive day you need some way somehow to have your day come up productive at the end of the day then this video is for you i'm going to be sharing with you five top tips that i have used to help myself get a productive day with my newborn on hand um, so yes, if you like this video, please keep on watching. Um, if you like the video at the end of the video, toss the end of the video. Okay. Give me a cute thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. And without further ado, my loves, let's get right into the video. So for some reason, this part of my outfit, my outfit just will not stay on. See, it keeps falling off and this side just stays put. I don't know what I did here, but <laughs> but yeah i thought i'll just mention that um but like i said i'm gonna be sharing with you guys five top tips or my top five tips that has helped me to have a productive day as a mom now i know that dealing with kids generally is a hustle can be a tussle and a hustle sometimes you know and especially having a newborn on hand you barely get the time to do anything you barely get the chance to do anything for yourself but in this video i'm going to be sharing with you how you can be able to come around to doing that you know at least a few ways to make life comfortable for yourself because let's be honest as <laughs> we've had kids but it doesn't mean that um life can be okay for us it doesn't mean that um we we, we shouldn't do something for ourselves as moms okay so yeah let me share with you these tips i hope that you like them i hope that they're helpful to be honest these are things that i have been doing myself these are practical you know practice what you preach these are things that i do myself on a daily if you watch my vlogs you'll probably know that i do them myself so yeah i'm excited to share them with you guys <laughs> okay guys so my very first tip i have my phone here she's sitting right in front of me and i have um I, i've written them down on my notepad so if you see me looking down that's literally what i'm doing okay nothing extra <laughs> but my very first tip that i'm going to give out is you need to get out of your night attire immediately when you wake up okay don't stay in them they make you feel very lazy they make you feel cozy they make you feel like you want to go back into bed and because it's just like night attire we just get out of it okay i find that it really helps um usually what i'll do is get into some active wear and work out so if you work out then immediately um when you get out of sleep put on some active wear put on some gym clothes you know even if, if you're not going to work out but you need you're going to do a few things around the house put on some active wear it puts you in like um ready to start the day mode it puts you in like ready to conquer mode like um let's get it you know what you, you know what i'm talking about just put on some active wear and it gets you ready for the day so that's my first tip for productivity okay my first tip which should have been my second i mean my second tip which should have been my first tip is wake up early that is something that um might be difficult to do because you're you have a newborn um you're tired you're breastfeeding and yada yada you might want to sleep but if you want to have a good productive day waking up early puts you ahead of um yourself it puts you ahead of your baby i can't even say how much helpful waking up early has um i mean how helpful waking up early has been to me waking up early is one of the things that uh, i'd say that i have incorporated in my routine and i'm gonna say thank you to it okay it gets me um on top of my game i'm able to complete what is on my to-do list now um, i'm able to have a good productive day i'm able to finish work um early enough to spend time with the family see when you don't wake up early you find yourself work working all the way into like the evening and then you're working into seven eight 
nine i used to find myself doing that a lot but i find that waking up early makes me finish doing work at like four five ish i'm able to make dinner i'm able to spend time sometimes even catch like a series like one um episode of a series that i'm watching on netflix you know waking up early is definitely um something that i'll recommend i can't even like overemphasize how important it is to wake up early if you're a millennial mom and you need to get a productive day or you need to get things done wake up early set a timer okay set a timer if you can't do it set a timer set an alarm i have an alarm that wakes me up um i'm saying this because it really is what helps me whenever i wake up early whenever i don't wake up early i actually find that um i'll be slagging you know i'll do my baby's routine and then by the time i notice it'll be like 12 1 and then i'm now coming to the office and then i'll barely get any work done and that day will all be shit to be honest so waking up early is very important so if you want to have a productive day i'll say tip number one you know rewind tip number one wake up early okay just wake up early so tip number three for me is planning your day guys having a plan for your day is always the best way to have a productive day hands down even if you don't wake up early, even if you don't change into like active wear, you know, even if you ignore everything that I say, planning your day alone can have you ha can have you having a good day or can make you have a good day. Um, it's something that I do every day. If you follow me on my vlogs, you already know I constantly have a plan for the day, for the week, for the month. I don't joke with my plans because if I don't do it, I find that. I'm just there. I'm not doing anything. I'm not being productive. Um, I'm not making any use out of myself. That's just how I feel. I like for my day to end with like, oh, I know that I did this and I did this and I did that. And if you're just like me, then you want to plan your day. How I do mine is I do it the night before. Well, how I do this is the night before, before I go to bed. You know, you have this very short time um, before you go into actual sleep. You have this short time that you scroll on your phone. You know, you go to Instagram or Twitter or whatever you do. Um, then you just laugh for a few minutes. You know, I do that. My husband does that. So I figure it's normal. I figure it's something that people do. Um, I'm pretty sure because before you drift into sleep, um, you usually just scroll through your phone, you know, do whatever you have to do. But I take like a quick, you know, a quick two, three minutes out of that and quickly plan my day for tomorrow. So I ask myself, how do I want my day to go? What do I want to achieve tomorrow? What video in my case it will be what video do I want to, uh, what video do I want to, do I want to, uh, really? <laughs> what video do I want to film? Um, what video do I need to upload? Like, you know, what brand do I have to film for? Like what email do I have to reply? So to you, it could be whatever, just plan your day. The night before ask yourself what you want to achieve um, what you want to see yourself doing the next day um, if it's an assignment that you have to do plan it you know also another thing that I like to use is sticky notes I'll just write them out stick them here in my office um, and then the next day when I come in I know that this and this is like a bunch of things that I have to do so I make sure that I get all of it done before the day ends and to me that makes me feel very productive that makes me feel like I've had the best day ever see <laughs> I'm not even joking so I'm um, planning your day is one really good thing if you're a visual person like me you could use um, the sticky notes that I was talking about you could have a daily planner um, you could print some out from Pinterest um, I'll try to leave a couple of them in the description box below but you could also just search uh, on Pinterest daily planner printable free printable daily planner um, it'll give you a couple of them that you can print plan your day also if you're a tech savvy or if you're a digital person you like to have your phone you know bing you tell you do this do this you can download an app on app store or ios i mean ios and app store is the same thing so um ios or android <laughs> you can download um whatever app the app that i use is tick tick like literally tick tick so you can download that as well it's a great app i love tick tick it sends you a reminder um i plan my day next day three days like i'd be planning my life so i use tick tick to do that and every morning it tells you 
a whole list of the tasks that you need to do and also at every set time will tell you that this and this is what is coming up or this and this is what you have to do um, i love me a good planner i love me a good planned day um that's just to me that's just one of the best ways to have a productive days as a mom so yeah so tip number four is have your baby or your babies in a routine guys i cannot tell you <laughs> how important it is to have a baby in a routine um babies thrive on routines okay um, babies or infants are generally uh <laughs> They like to do stuff by themselves you know they like to have things go their way so if you don't put them in routines it will be very hard for you as a mom to get anything done in your day so having your baby in a routine you know she needs to sleep at, or nap at this time she needs to feed at this time you know that she's going to wake up in two hours so you need to get her food ready um, um, she's going to nap for two hours so within two hours she can get so so done you know to me that is the best way to have a baby um and to also have a productive day you know have your babies in routine make sure that they're sleeping make sure that they're playing at for 45 minutes if it's for an hour for an hour you know if you need to be able to get something done also if you do things by yourself then you definitely need to have a baby in a routine because if not the baby will be stuck on you the whole time infants are very fond of doing that okay <laughs> they just like to be with mommy and be with daddy but if you don't have them in a routine if they're not napping if they're not sleeping or i mean if they're not napping um and and they're not giving you time to be able to do things that you have to do then you're really not going to have a productive day i mean sometimes things will not always go as planned but having your baby in a routine is always the best way it, it's this is the highly advisable thing or this is the highly said thing um that they tell every new mom that you need to have a baby in a routine you need to put a baby in a routine it's one of the most important things as a new mom that you need to do and it's also one of the things that i've realized that helps you to have a very good and productive day so yeah for me that's one of the things that has helped me having my baby in a routine you know i know that um my baby's morning routine starts at 9 a.m so till it's 9 a.m i'm not going to take her out of bed and i think for some reason she has also noticed so she sleeps till around 8 30 8 45 which is exactly what i'm talking about and this is because i've been doing this for um continuously for like three months now you know so she's gotten used to the fact that she sleeps till around that time and i get out i mean like i get out of the room before her and it, it's crazy but just around that same time she wakes up every time and it's because i've been i feel like it's because i've been doing it i've been doing it and i i kept doing it till she get she got she got used to it so um babies in a routine and every other mom that i've spoken to every other every other mom that i know also says the same thing that um is the best thing to do to have a baby in a routine is the best way to go so i'll tell you that for a fact have your baby in a routine and then you're gonna have a productive day. you thank me for it <laughs> my last tip that i'm gonna give is um that maximize your time guys maximize your time if you're a new mom that's one thing that you want to do if your baby sleeps for 45 minutes be sure that you're also doing something during that 45 minutes okay don't just sit around and scroll on instagram the whole time and then the baby wakes up and then you feel like you didn't do anything it happens it happens okay it happens to me sometimes so i'm just telling you even when you get 10 minutes and you need to quickly wash your hair quickly wash your hair so that's why you need to plan your day when you plan your day and you have a couple of things on your to-do list you know that when baby sleeps i need to quickly sneak this in because that's the only time that i have when i have just 20 minutes i will do something guys me <laughs> when baby sleeps for like during the week and then i have to shoot content you know i have to get content out and she sleeps she has these days where you know she sleeps like really short shots in for like during really short short windows um i'll quickly sneak in and film a quick video for instagram you know do my quick makeup i will do something and that's because i always have something on my to-do list but if you have no plan if you have nothing on your to-do list then you really won't be able to find anything to maximize your time with 
so i'd say that plan your day very important and then maximize your time make sure that um you're taking advantage of every second of the clock because that is also another way to have a productive day as a mom um the only way to be able to get things done sometimes when they're cranky and fuzzy is the little time that you get squeeze in and do something the little time that you get you know take your shower the little time that you get edit some video i mean that's, that's in my case but for whatever that will be for you get something done when you get time okay and my bonus tip i know i said five tips but i'm gonna give you guys just a quick bonus tip ask others for help guys ask others for help it's as simple as that <laughs> it's, it's self-explanatory i don't have to say too much i don't talk much okay ask others for help when you have people around or when you have the chance to have people help you with your baby let them help you just so you can be able to do something okay just so you can be able to be productive do something else so it's not always um with the baby when someone comes in to want to help if you trust the person definitely please let them help if you can ask for help ask them for help okay guys i thought i'd say that as a bonus tip yes guys so um that is my top five tips for staying productive or having a productive day as a mom or as a millennial mom because i like to say that because i'm a millennial mom okay <laughs> so yeah i thought that i'll share these tips with you guys comment down below if you find any of these tips helpful also share this video with anyone that you think that oh i think that my friend this my friend is gonna need this video because this girl she's lacking and she needs to have a productive day so let me send this video to her send it to her okay girl send it to her okay also um give me a huge thumbs up if you like the video yourself and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that ignore this shoulder that will not stay on okay subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that um, i love you guys so much follow me on all my social media platforms akosia benhene across all social media platforms i love you check out my hair video linked in the description box makeup linked love you see you in my next video bye <laughs> Bye guys. I love you guys. Bye. Cause I don't wanna lose you now. I'm looking right at being have a half of me. The vacancy that's got in my heart is a space in my home. Show me how to fight for now. And I'll tell you, baby, it was easy coming back.